marking automation and CRM have to be applications that are designed together. The reason for this is that the databases between CRM and marketing automation or lead management share about 70% of the data. Both databases have leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities, and these are different table names with different field names and actually different philosophies. Like, you know, like part out stores uh, prospects a little differently than the marketing cloud does, which is a little differently than Salesforce. So you kind of have to try and match those things up when you're doing an implementation if they're different in, in separate products. The, the, uh, <clears throat> and then also you need reports that go across those two functional areas. And if they're in different databases, it's really hard to get those reports out. And then actually, if they're in separate tools like it is with Salesforce, you'll do a you have to do a customization twice. So if you're adding something into the to the lead table, you have to add it into the Salesforce lead table and to the part out lead table. Whereas with us, just one set of tables, they support both the CRM and the marketing application, uh, marketing automation application. Also, think of it, if you have multiple tools, even your admin is going to be a multi-step process. You have to define the user to multiple admin tools between your marketing automation and your CRM. So we think there's a lot of reasons this has to happen. The market hasn't adapted to that yet. We think there's a big opening in the enterprise uh, layer or enterprise share of the market for a company that really has marketing automation and CRM nailed in its one unified application. So <clears throat> here's the example on the left here is X2 CRM. We have marketing and CRM together. We're written in a common language. Most of it's written in PHP. We have some JavaScript on the front end. We have an open database. We use uh, open source MySQL database. Also, that's the same database that Amazon now sells as the Aurora database server. And I don't know if you all are familiar with the Amazon Web Services. But a, a huge difference between the older legacy CRM applications like Salesforce is that Salesforce had to write their own cloud structure in 1999 when they started. There was not a cloud structure available. Well, we get to run on top of Amazon, AWS. And they have now taken the Aurora database server, which is a version of MySQL, and they, they offer that as a database server. So we can just spin up a new server for somebody literally in a half hour and put their database on it. It gives total control and flexibility to the customer. So that's, and then we run on top of uh, Amazon's uh, Elastic Computing uh, environment, which means that you can set it up, for example, during the holiday season, you can have your service just automatically, dynamically increase and then drop back off. So you have total control of this, whereas in the older legacy systems, Salesforce is the only one that controls that deployment. And your actual, your whole application and your database is lumped in with other customers in actually the same files. <clears throat> 